Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's see what we got for you right now. We have quite an attractive, quite popular, but in certain parts of the world, car. Now what I mean by that, this is a 143 scale, 2008, Ford Fusion, Cabriolet, convertible, however you want to call it, certain parts of the, uh, actually the Ford Focus Coupe Cabriolet, but in other parts of the world we'll call it convertible. Now this is, you know, with Ford Focus, they had the European version and they had the American, like the North American version. This is the European version. It's the second generation of the Ford Focus. This second generation came out in 2004. You know, it, it was an upgrade from the first generation, definitely. I think the Cabriolet, it was the probably the best looking one of all. And also the hatchback, I found it very attractive. Not so much the sedan. I'm talking about the European version. The hatchback, I like the rear, the rear tail lights. They were like very inclined by the 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 pillar, so that kind of gave it a different look. The sedan was more bland to my eye. To my eye, kind of the, the sedan kind of reminded me of the Ford Mondeo from the same era in a smaller version. But now talking about the Cabriolet, the one that we're looking at right now in front of us. It's a very little attractive um, Cabriolet. You know, for someone that couldn't afford a bigger Cabriolet like the Saab 93 or the Volvo C70 or the BMW Cabriolet convertible. Or, you know, you got the smaller cars like the smaller compact, like the Ford Focus, the one that we're looking at right now. And it, especially like the rear. The rear gives me a totally different look. It doesn't even give me like a Ford Focus look. It gives me like a different type of car. If I wouldn't put the logo from the Ford, the oval logo, I could have probably said a different model from a different brand. Hmm, even, I'm not sure. Probably a Volkswagen? What would you say? Leave me in the comments. What do you think about this Cabriolet forward slash convertible? Do you find them attractive? Do you find them like, uh, it's a Ford at the end of the day? <laughs> that's, that's some people's comments. Not everyone, not everyone thinks alike. Guy, remember, we all have different opinions. But as long as we all respect everybody's opinion, we're in the same ball game. We could have a different eye for a different car. But I like the car. I find them attract. Maybe silver would not have been my first choice. Usually when you think about convertibles or cabriolets, you think about a fun car, a sun car. A car that you go under the when you go to the beach and when you drive on those sunny summer days. So I would probably thought a red or a yellow. Those are the two number one colors that pops up in my head. If you wanna be very flashy. Uh, yeah, red or yellow will be the number ones. I, I personally love the yellow convertibles. I find them to be very fun. You know, the color of the sun, the color of the car. Yellow is a very bright color. It brings every inch of the car. Everyone looks at you if you want to show off. It, yellow is a perfect color to my eye. And... I don't know about the antenna. I know you have to have an antenna for the radio, but that antenna right smack in the center of the top part of the windshield, it kind of bothers my eye. I would probably put a smaller antenna by the trunk. Maybe something that will not be like... It, it, it kind of reminds me of the police cars. They have those big antennas and they have them everywhere to get reception. It just gives me that vibe. Alright guys, remember these are four-cylinder cars. They're not big engine. 
All right, I'm going to let it go around a few times. Can you have a nice look at the car, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what do you think about this car? You know, one fact I wanted to bring up, probably if you're not from North America, you may not know this. In North America, we did not have a convertible forward slash Cabriolet in our market for the Ford Focus. Actually, that era of the Ford Focus around this time, it was a very much different looking car than this. Uh, then after that, I think it was in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, we, we did share a lot more similar looking for Focus, but not on this era. This car right here looks totally different from the 2004, 2008, 2000, you know, around this era from, for Focus. It was, it was a... Uh, it was different. It was different. If you could Google it, you could put the North American version of the Ford Focus in that era, and you could check it out. It was a lot different. Uh, it's different models. I would say attractive. Eh, okay, eh, not the most, <laughs> but it's not. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I don't want to bad mouth it because a lot of people bought them. They were quite reliable for a few people out there. So, let's keep it like that. I'll leave it to your eye to judge it. To me, it was okay. They had a four-door. They had a uh, four-door. And they had a um, two-door. Coupe version two. So, it was okay. It was all right. All right, guys. Don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up. I always appreciate uh, that you showed me the, the love. Thank you so much. You know... As what it shows me that you are enjoying these cars as much as I'm enjoying making these videos. And that's important, you know. Also, don't forget to click and subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to press the bell. And comment. Let me know what you guys think about all these videos. What's the most attractive one. And one more thing I want to bring up before I leave. If I'm not mistaken... Bertone designed this convertible. I'll leave it to you in the comments. Let me know what you guys say. I see the Bertone logo on the, next to the door in the bottom. Not fully sure. It's a very small logo and I couldn't find the full information. But I'll leave it to your comments. Let me know please. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.